Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you for watching 10 Minutes with Jesus. Today, uh, it's a special um, segment. I'm going to be sharing my latest poem. It's called Experiencing Pentecost. Are you looking for a better life? Something that will fill the void in your life? Something that will quench your thirst inside? Something that will satisfy your deepest desires. Something that will give you power to overcome sin and shame. Something that will help you find your purpose. Something that will help you make it to heaven. The answer is to experience Pentecost. This experience, I must say, is more than what words can say. It is what the book of Acts says that is so life-changing. This holy life-changing experience is like no other. It brings us where we must belong, at the most beautiful presence of Jesus and his glorious heavenly throne. There is nothing in this world that can satisfy or fill our soul because in the world we are alone and our hearts become like stone. We cannot survive this life on our own. When we try we fail and feel disowned. When we surrender our will and flesh to Jesus, and let his Holy Spirit fill our soul, we will experience Pentecost and will receive God's power and protection we need. That will satisfy every desire and great need. We will find our purpose in this life and will never be the same. Just like the day of Pentecost where 120 were in the upper room and the Holy Spirit filled their souls and were speaking in tongues. You also can experience this great moment of Pentecost that will transform you into a dedicated holy vessel. You will never be the same and will not want to go back to your past sinful ways and will not want to look back but look forward to Jesus our eternal hope and will never lose hope. You will not regret this decision and your new life will be blessed with overflowing love and joy. For the Holy Spirit will truly fill every void inside and give you and guide you through the narrow way that leads to eternal life. Are you ready to experience Pentecost? I have and will never regret it or go back. I am forever changed and cannot hide this great truth. By walking in his great power and eternal hope, Jesus has the power to transform, restore, deliver and heal any weak and defeated soul into a soul with power and purpose that will make it through and through every trial and storm as we follow Jesus our only way to heaven are you ready to experience Pentecost if you say yes you will see for yourself how wonderful, powerful, and life-changing it really is. So don't delay. Jesus is here to stay. Amen. Um, praise God. So when, when, I, when, when you think about Pentecost, it, it's more than than the word. It, it's it's an experience. It's uh, it's it's a life-changing experience uh, when God fills you with His Spirit. When He, when His Spirit dwells inside you, you're, you're, 
you're not the same person. You're a new creation in Christ, like the Word says. The old has passed away, all things are new. Um, it's powerful. Um, if, if you want to have victory in your life, if you want to have... Uh, if you want to be able to overcome sin, you must experience Pentecost. You must have that experience in order to be victorious in this life because there's no other way that will give you the power that you need, the fuel that you need to make it through uh, victoriously um, and overcome sin. Amen. Because um, the Bible says we have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And uh, just, just like um, the 120 that were filled with the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost, that same experience is, is, is available today. God is, is, is willing to, to have you go, uh, go through that same experience, that powerful, life-changing experience where God enters into your life. And uh, once, once you obey the scriptures, uh, the Bible says, to uh, you must be born again of the water and the spirit and in Acts 2.38 says uh, repent be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost um, so it's that, in, that that's that's so life changing amen because uh, when you receive the, the, the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in other tongues. When you pray in tongues, you're praying in a heavenly language that, that God understands. The devil won't understand it, only God, because it's a, it's a direct line of communication to God, amen. So, um, uh, let's go ahead and pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, for this day, oh God. Lord, we thank you, God, Lord, I thank you for the poem that you helped me, inspire me to write, oh God. Lord, I pray for everyone that's watching, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray, Lord, um, that you would bring conviction to their hearts, oh God. For anyone that hasn't experienced Pentecost, Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you would give, that, give them that revelation, Lord God, that they need to receive your spirit, Lord that they need to receive your power, oh God. Lord, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would... Um, just bring a conviction, O oh God, that you would draw them to their knees in repentance, O oh God, that they would surrender their life to you, O oh God, so that they would surrender their will to your will for the rest of their life, O oh God. Lord, that they would, would follow you for the rest of their days, O oh God. Follow after your word, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. Help them to obey your scriptures, O oh God. Lord, help them, Lord, to be obedient to your scriptures, Lord God. When it says to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the Holy Ghost, Lord God, I pray, Lord, that that would bring revelation to their hearts and their minds, O oh God. Lord, because your coming is very soon, O oh God. And you're not willing that any should perish, but that all would come to repentance, O oh God, Lord. So I pray, Lord Jesus, Lord, I pray, Lord God, make us ready, Lord, for your coming, Lord. Make us ready for that day, Lord God, when, when, when you return, O oh God, for your people, for your church, O oh God. Make us ready, Lord God. Make us ready for you, O oh God. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your word, O oh God. Lord, I thank you. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, God is so good. He is so wonderful. That there is none like Jesus. Jesus is the only way. The Bible says there is no other way of salvation. There, there is no other name given among men whereby we, whereby we must be saved. Amen. So I encourage every one of you. Just stay encouraged in the Lord. Keep keep um, keep the faith, and God God will bless you. Have a blessed day, everyone, in Jesus' name. Amen.